Right, so we've strapped a 10 inch T-square onto the vertical face. We've got a Mitutoya metric DTI on a mag base on the end of the uh, ram. We've zeroed it there. If I shove it, yeah, what we got? Point one, which is four thou. So we've got. I have to shove it back because. So we've got four thou. Sorry, four, yeah, four thou movement over. Nearest damn it, uh, I think it's nine inches of travel, so it's well out of plonk. So the next question is, do I take it out of the, the surface that it's running on, on the main body? I've got to assume that that would be set vertical. Uh, sorry, 90 degrees perpendicular to the vertical faces. But that's a lot of material to shift underneath the ram. Uh, so if it's, if, if you work on the basis of from that point, nine inches back, it's got to be four thou down. And then translate that to the next 20, you know, till 22 inches back. I'm going to be removing way, way, way too much material. Um, so the next question is, that's, that's the, uh, the box fits on there. It's upside down at the minute. Box fits on that face. That's the carriage for all intents and purposes of the saddle. And then it sits on those ways so it could be taken out from the back of this piece or from the bottom of this face uh, both of which are well a fraction of the size of the, uh, the the main casting bearing surfaces the clamping positions on there are obviously a lot ugh. They're smaller, but they're also a much lower contact count. Um, but it does mean then fitting the gib again. Uh, so I don't know. these are the same bearing count, so there's 20 points per inch. Uh, but it is only one face there and one on the bottom. And the these two surfaces here to match up with the angle on that. Yeah, not entirely sure where it's gone out of plonk because for it, to, for it to be that far out I'd have had to took up, take off an awful lot more material from one end than I have from the other and there hasn't been that much. Uh, as a guide, uh, one of the comments from Richard King, scraping extraordinaire, um, He's pulling some very helpful wide points, which is that when this is in in its forward position, the nose of it, front end, should sit around a thou higher than at 90 degrees. So if you say that the maximum stroke is 14 inches, and the maximum stroke is 14 inches from that face. So it's only actually uh, about 10 inches, it's not much further than I've got it out there. It's another inch and a half, I think. Um, so for all intents and purposes, I'm three thou over, uh, under, uh, four thou under that. So I sum it what it's doing. Um, yeah. Uh, the other option is that I put it all back together. Uh, finish scraping up the bearing surfaces and then just take a light cut off the top of the box which would obviously then bring it in parallel to that um, and I thought it would be four thou at the far end and next backs to nothing there so you, if it took a six thou cut it's not a big job <laughs> probably half an hour as opposed to trying to scrape all that lot back which is a couple of months so I'm going to put this up as a quick question on uh, Practical Machinist and see if the general consensus is take it off the top of the box or what else is offered.